good afternoon and welcome to my Facebook Live this afternoon. My name's Jenny McCormack. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in Brackley, which is the centre of the UK. Not the centre, it's in the centre of the UK. Probably is the centre. Um, so welcome to my Facebook Live today. So I'm having some more fun with this forthcoming stamp set, which will be available um, for customers to order in January. It's called Snailed It, as you can see. And if you joined me earlier this week, Monday and Tuesday, I had some fun with the stamp. So on Monday, I did the snails. And on Tuesday, I did these lovely um, toadstools. Uh, let me see if I've got those cards to hand. Or oh, that they've... They were just here. Here we go. Let me show you those really quickly. So this was Monday's card. You snailed it exactly as you can see there so it's on a note card and envelope we've used some sponging at the base here um, some stamping of leaves I'm trying to think from the stamp set and i can't remember apologies um, and some sponging around the top using our new blending brushes and then i stamped and colored in the snail with the blends pens so that was on Monday and then Tuesday's card was doing some mirror stamping using our Stamparatus and basically I took the toadstool stamp, hi Molly, and stamped it on one side and then reversed it and stamped it on the other side and um, created this card here so we've got you've got mail in the middle just really quite sweet I do rather like it and so today I thought I would carry on with that my phone's not playing the game so I'll have to sort of reach over and um, check your messages luckily the messages are coming up on the computer today but just not on my phone so these were the two cards that we mailed earlier that we made earlier this week and today I thought I'd do a Christmas card and I saw this um, rough layout by um, Jana Muller who's another stamping up demonstrator and she featured the snail as a Christmas card which I thought was really rather fun so what I wanted to do is share with you um, a little bit more about the suite that's coming out, um, show you some of the other components of it and the dies, and also the fun papers that go with it too. So if we look at the dies very quickly, um, the dies obviously cut out these three images to start with. So we've got the two snails and the set of toadstools and the dies for example um, will cut round it's a nice um, close fit that so makes it much easier for lining up and then you can pop that through your die cutting machine all of these dies will fit the new mini cutting machine so in addition to those we have a die that cuts out this little speech bubble and this also matches the speech bubble that are on the papers. And we also have a die that cuts out the little heart. Um, it doesn't match this exactly, but it's very similar to, so you could stamp and cut out the heart, um, but there's two dies for that. And then we have a little die for the envelope. So it will cut the one that's on the stamp that's here but it was also it will also cut the paper ones as well 
and then in addition to that we have this cute little envelope die so I've just cut this out in um, oh I can't think of the colour it's not Melon Mambo, it's not Lovely Lipstick, it's Magenta Madness, that's it. I could see MM. Um, so this creates this cute little envelope with stitching all the way around it. I'm not sure whether you can actually see that on there. If I turn it over like that, you might see the stitching. Um, so it's got stitching there to make this cute little envelope. And it also cuts out this little panel, which you can put... On the inside as a little note now obviously I've come, cut this out very quickly just in the same color but you could stamp hello on it for example or a little heart and have that tucked inside here so watch out um, for a card tomorrow featuring these cute little envelopes they're just so dinky aren't they as well as the envelope it cuts out this postage stamp very large postage stamp square. Hi Bridie. Um, so this is rather nice and obviously you could put the um, snail or anything in there and cut it out. So a nice big chunky postage stamp. And then it also cuts out these toadstools. Now obviously you don't tend to have pink toadstools. Um, but this would be lovely if you coloured it in red, if you cut out red card and put it onto a black background. You get two of these little um, toadstool dies and two of the hearts and then one each of everything else. Um, so those are the dies. Plus obviously the ones for the um, snail as we've discussed. Just tuck those all in there. There we have it. And then the papers are really fun. Let me show you the papers. So I am doing, um, I will be doing a paper share um, for the new year. Hi Tracy. Um, so these are the papers that go with the snail dip stamp set. So I'll show you one side and then I'll turn over and show you the other. So you've got this one here that's got little presents. It's got an envelope with a heart and it's got little paper aeroplanes and a little stamp as well. So that's rather good fun. And if you wanted little presents to cut out, even for Christmas, they would be ideal. Then we have some fun different snail images. So we've got this one here. That matches the same die. I'm rather liking the colours they've got here. Pink for the main bit of the snail and then yellow. A bit more exciting than my brown snails. Um, you've got these little envelopes which will work with the um, die for the letter and the envelopes. Um, some written things and some little dots scattered around. And you've got a male postman there with his moustache and his tie and then you've got the lady snail with the presents this comes as 12 by 12 sheets this has been cut down to six inches by 12 inches so you've got some huge mushrooms here rather good fun i love the bright colors so we've got bermuda bay and coastal cabana and then you've got a line of um, smaller snails here with Coastal Cabana in the background. And then you've got the equivalent to um, the snail from the stamp set here. Again, with little presents that you could cut out and the fun little um, paper aeroplanes and the little um, extra little presents. And they match the presents um, from the other snail, this one here. And then the last one on this side is just a whole bunch of gorgeous, fun mushrooms, as you can see. I need to keep it flat, perhaps, for you to see. 
so that's one side and you get um, 12 sheets of so 12 by 12 um, six different sheets and you get two of each so this has got lots of postage stamps I don't know if you can see that whether there's enough detail there um, just a pattern with dotted lines on that you could use for the snail following that would be quite good fun to have a few snails following the trail or just as a backing um, these are tiny little pink hearts we've got some dotted lines squirrely lines and then this matches the die for the stamp so you'd cut this out so we've got hello hello bonjour um, hello and a little heart so you could cut those out or just use it as a backing whichever you prefer so those are the snailed it papers so great fun nice and bright great for children i think very nice indeed so let's get on with a christmas card let me see who else has joined us in the meantime Um, so hi Tracy oh hi Julie again oh bless you she's at work that's really nice of you to pop in and see so I've got Tracy Bridie and Molly that I know that are with us that have said hi so thank you ladies I'm going to see if there's any luck um, finding you on my phone hopefully there will be and then I don't have to keep leaning across trying to read messages. <laughs> right, there we go. That's a better, a better, better looking opportunity. It's actually come up with my Facebook page. Right, so Christmas. Oh, hi Louise, thanks for joining us. So what um was suggested by yana was to have a um she had a, a blank white card she then did some sponging on another layer but i'm just going to keep it nice and simple and i'm going to use that fabulous um trimming the town paper that's got snowflakes on one side okay so that's going to be my backing but what she actually did was a really good job of sponging a night sky with um, a night of navy so that was fabulous and then what I've got is I've cut one of the strips from the um, curvy dies this is the one that has the Christmas set that goes with it or you can buy the dies on its on their own and these will be in the new catalogue as well so I just cut, cut out what was a sort of one and a half inch strip of Whisper White and this is going to go on the bottom of my card like that so I've got this scene with hopefully what looks like snow now I could put this through my snow embossing folder as well or a different texture the new painted texture would work particularly well to make it look like um, sort of a snow drift. Um, but just for today, I'm going to leave that plain. And then what I'm going to do is I stamped my snail. And this snail um, is going to be cut out with the die. And I'm going to pop her on here as so she's bringing the presents. And then I'm going to stamp and cut out some presents and I haven't quite decided whether to have them all stacked up on top of her or whether to have some down on the ground and I'm going to add a sentiment here so that's my approximate plan so I'll put this section together in a minute and all you would need to do for this one is stamp it color it in and then use the die as I say it's a really nice close fit so our new dies um, are much easier to cut because the inside layer is really close to the stamped image 
whereas before there was like a little sort of gap all the way around so that makes life a lot easier and then what I've also done hi Brenda is I've just stamped the top of the snail where the presents are on a piece of scrap whisper white and I'm just going to cut those colour and cut out those presents so if I take um, the snail first now I have actually got a snail already cut just to save a little bit of time so I'm just going to um, colour her in a little bit now I have got um, I'm just going to stick probably I might do some petal pink so she's a little bit pinker in the body <laughs> than I've done previously all of my other ones were um, crumb cake as you can see <laughs> so I'll leave that one there um, but I'm just going to do a little bit of um, petal pink so this is dark petal pink and I was really just using the um, that bit of a colour idea from the um, papers. I can't remember if you joined us earlier in the week Brenta but this set is coming out in January with the fun little snails. So I'm just using the dark around the edges. There. And then quickly with the um, light petal pink, just bring that in. And I might give her a green shell as well rather than. The boring brown that I've been using all week <laughs> so let's find a green perhaps um, a little bit of old olive maybe so just going to color in the shell and obviously you could make this shell really any color you wanted so I'm just doing a little bit of color here So, and in here, there we are, and then I'm just going to colour the rest in with light old olive. Oh, thanks, Brenda. I had a feeling you had, but I thought if I say thanks for joining us again, and you hadn't, I was going to look very silly. But they are rather cute and um, if you watch back on replay you can see the the cute papers that go with it nice bright snails great for children or anybody who's got an interest in snails and snail related things I don't know what that's called I'm sure there is a name So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to make this into a Christmas card. I don't think I've ever received a Christmas card with a snail on it. <laughs> so that will be a first. Okay, so I'm just going over those um, areas where I've used the darker pen to smooth that out like so and then I'll think I'll do green on the top present and then red underneath so I've got here real uh, dark real red yes exactly Louis I was thinking the same thing this afternoon was rainbow snails doing snails in lots of different colors how fab that would be especially with the dyes you could just stamp in black on colored card and then die cut them out that would be good fun 
so. Normally I would colour on the card and then die cut it out. Just so you've got more card to hold on to, but this will do um, for our purposes. And then I said, all I did was stamp some other present. So just the top of the um, snail area. And let's do a bit of green on there. Let's do the narrow end. Yeah, I think rainbow snails would be good fun. Okay, so I'm not going to sit and colour all of these in. I have got some, um, I hope, here that I coloured earlier, just to save some time. So I've got reds and blues. And then all I would do is just fussy cut this out with a pair of scissors. And it's up to you how accurate you want to be for cutting out. So I tend to cut out an area around it and then just cut that between the snail and the presents and then you can either cut it close in or you can cut it with a bit of a margin around the edge okay so it's entirely up to you a lot of it depends on whether you're going to put it on white card or not if you're going to put it on white card these edges will disappear so I'm just going to cut this little bit out here. So I'm busy getting my um, class in a box ready this afternoon and tonight. So I had my delivery today of all the packs for my classes. So if you're if you've ordered one this month, I'm aiming to get those out Friday and saturday all being well okay so there we've got some presents so let's put our um card together so this was my layer so the snowflake papers from um trimming the town that's going to go onto there and then i've cut this out with the um curvy dies and that's just going to go onto there so let me fix those together I think what I'll do is put this one on first in case in case I need to trim anything. I'm just going to use some wet glue. And just turn that round and put it on there. So slide it right up to the edge. So I have pre-cut the blue card to the size that I want to give me a border onto my white card like so there we go I just love those curves and you can really angle the curves as much as you want and let's see so yeah she's going to go in there how cute is that um, so I'm thinking I want to stamp a Christmas message. So I've got um, the large Merry Christmas, which I think will fit on there nicely. This is from Snowman Season. So I'm going to stamp that. I'm tempted to do Knight of Navy or... Um, yes, Knight of Navy. Or Misty Moonlight, but I think I'll do not. I could do the red to bring in the red, but I've got Knight of Navy to hand, and I'm pretty sure I've got more ink in this Knight of Navy than I have in my real red. I have started to refill my ink pads, you'll be pleased to hear, ladies. Okay. Okay, so there's our Merry Christmas. Now I've got that stamped, I'm going to pop this onto my base card. Let's just use a bit of wet glue on there. Like 
so make sure I've got my card opening the right way around just laying that on there with the border all the way around hopefully fairly even like so and then we've got our snail and there's quite a nice little curve in there and as luck would have it there's a nice sort of curve in the snail so you could have her if you had a bigger border you could have your snail a bit further down but I quite like the fact that she's going to sit in that little gap there Can I buy a wet glue from you? Yes, and a machine for a glue refill. A machine for a glue refill. Do you mean a snail equivalent or a seal? Just let me know, Louise. That's fine. I can bring it down um, to the bookshop tomorrow if that helps you. Okay, so my snail's going to go there. And my presents, I'm thinking... So they could get stacked up here, that's just sort of what I was thinking, but actually there's not much space there and it'll make it really uneven. So I'm thinking we could put some presents sort of over here, although she's facing it. Like so, or even on the top of the snow. Well, it's a bit of a steep curve, isn't it? Um, what do you think? Or should I have them down here? I mean, I may have got too many presents anyway, to be honest. Don't have to have that many. I could do it just like that, keep it fairly simple. What do you think? Or have her. I'm going to pop her up on dimensionals while we're deliberating on that. There we go. One, two, three. You could put a tiny, a mini one if you wanted on the um, eye. Because they're on stalks. <laughs> there we go. So perhaps I'll bring her a little bit further along there. So she's there on the right hand side. Um, now I've just got to decide what to do with the presents. Oh, I see. Is it a snail or is it a seal? Just let me know. Oh, fingers and thumbs today. That would work quite nicely with the three there on the left and maybe the one there on the right and then I'm just going to dot some bling over there so let's pop this one up but this would be um, good fun if you did a tall card in portrait um, then you could have these presents, you know, all the way around the top. There we go. So I think what I'm going to do is put these two flat and that one on the top. Thank you, Brenda. One like that. Oh, 
on like that and then that one on top like so let's just trim that down a little bit hopefully that will fit it's just pointing over a little bit so I'm just going to trim that back there we are there we have it snail so is that a snail um i have got some snail refills if anybody has the old snail and they want to refill then let me know because i do have a limited number left um that you can have right okay so there we go um what do you think rather cute slightly different christmas snail card <laughs> um i'll stamp something in the middle but it's rather fun isn't it and you could still put this sentiment inside happy mail enclosed even though it's christmas i think that would work um, perfectly inside uh, not inside on the envelope i mean so there we go oh that's funny talking about snails and snails right so thank you so much i hope you I hope you enjoyed that one I shall be back tomorrow and I'm going to do something with this little um, envelope die that comes with the set. Um, not quite sure what, but I'm going to do something with that and with the little um, inside um, letter. So if you'd like to join me, I will be back tomorrow at five and you can see me do something a little bit more with this whole snail bit sweet as i say that will be available in january so i hope you're um, able to join me live tomorrow if not obviously you can watch me on catch up um, you can also rewind as soon as this is done to have a look at the papers and everything that are included in the bundle um, so here are the fun papers great big you know fun mushrooms and snails and things like that really fun and there's also some baker's twine that goes with this i'm pretty sure in um, certainly in the pink so um, watch out for those as well okay so thank you very much i will be sending information um well i'll be sending out new catalogues very soon those that have ordered my class in a box will get theirs in their class in a box and then I will be sending out details about the new paper shares uh, ready for you to reserve a set prior to January the 5th. So thank you so much for joining me today. And I will, uh, Louise, I'll message you after. Yes, the snail has been replaced with the seal, which is this one here stamp and seal but um i probably got a snail body somewhere um i'll dig one out for you okie dokie right thank you everybody um thanks for joining me today i hope you um have a nice evening look after yourselves and your loved ones and hopefully you'll be able to join me back here tomorrow live at five at five <laughs> thank you so much everybody cheerio bye bye